I'm Tom Hank, director of New Media for the Young Turks and producer for our new YouTube-funded show, The Point. Jank and Dave Kohler picked Professor Rich as their favorite TYT Nation video of the week, two weeks in a row. And so I'm forced to pick somebody else, and I'm going to go with Varmint Coyote, who talks about his time in the military and why he left. I'm not crazy about the jump cuts, and I think the video runs a little long, honestly, but his perspective is interesting, even though I don't necessarily agree with all of the points that he made. But uh, check it out and decide for yourself, and he definitely says some things that might piss some people off, so we'll see what you think. Well, why would you ever leave the military? Sounds like a good enough job to me. This question got brought up in response to me asking people to specifically suggest topics, and it's not an easy question for me to answer. Reason being that there's just so many fucking reasons that I got out. Not specifically, but I just let my contract run out after the four years that I was in. Uh, to begin with, I guess it should be noted why I actually went in in the first place. I mean, the entire reason I went into the military was out of necessity. I was 19 years old and I was living in my parents' house and they decided to finally kick me out because I didn't really have any prospects and they figured that was the kick in the ass that I needed. So they were giving me an ultimatum of getting kicked out of the house when I had a job that did not make enough money for me to support myself. I didn't know any people who were living away from their parents' houses who actually had any room for a new roommate. Not to mention that I basically didn't have any friends in the first place. And I just didn't have any prospects whatsoever for getting out of the house and my parents are kicking me out anyway. So my mom suggested that I go into the military, which if it wasn't for her suggesting that, I probably would have been homeless for a year. So my mom suggested going into the military and I was like, hmm, I'm going to go the George Carlin route on this. I'm not going army because I figure, you know, I could either go into the army, have to fly over to dangerous and exotic places and kill people, shitting in my helmet, cooking in it later, and basically living in hell. Or I could go into the Air Force, fly over the area, drop some bombs, go back home, and go out dancing. Air Force. Country Club. And that was just what I figured in the first place was, you know, it's the Air Force. It's going to be fucking easy, especially by comparison to all the other branches and because it's got a higher propensity of easy career fields. So I went in, but none of the career fields that I had opted for were actually opening up after a whole six months. So I had to go in without a guaranteed career field and just go in, like, open general. Out of the four potential career field areas, like mechanics, administration, electronics, general. So I just went in open general. We'll come back to that later. One thing I feel is very, very important to note on here is the fact that everybody would always tell me that you were going in to defend the United States. Yeah, I was going in to defend the United States, not because I needed to. Not because I needed the money or because I needed the housing or because my parents had kicked me out. No! No, I went in to defend the United States. And so did every other person that was in training with me. Some people have such romantic views of the fucking military. No, most of the people who went in went in for the exact same reason that I did. Likelihood of dying, benefits. Likelihood of dying, benefits. Hmm. There's a difference engine at play here, and most people went in not to defend the country, but because of that. And the only evidence I have of that is everybody that I ever talked to in the military. Like, one of the very first briefings that I was ever in with my entire flight of 100 other trainees. They asked us, why did you come into the military? By show of hands. How many of you came in for the education benefits? Travel? Family? The money? Being able to shoot a gun? Medical benefits? Just a whole list of different reasons that people would actually go in. And through each of these questions, you know, 30, 20, maybe even as many as 75% of the class actually raised their hands. I remember there was 100 of them, so it's actually easy to figure the percentages on this one. Last two. How many people came into the military because they have parents who are veterans? Two people raised their hands. How many of you came into the military to serve the country, rather to defend the United States? Either or. They're interchangeable. One person raised his hand. And that percentage pretty much held true the entire time I was in because I would constantly query people who were new to the flight about why they came in. Based on my anecdotal evidence from four years in, that's exactly why people come in. Benefits. Just all of that as an aside, because I hate it when people think that everybody in the military goes in for decent, honorable reasons, as much as what they're actually doing may be honorable. People conflate the two concepts constantly. Now, they made me a cop. I hate cops. I always have. I'm the guy that whenever you see a cop fucking driving by, I'm going, does anybody else smell bacon? Oink, oink. Fucking pigs.
And I have said proudly whenever I was in the military that yes, I am a dirty, muddy pig because I hate my career field. And look, I understand that my hatred is misplaced because I hate the laws technically and not the enforcers. Except that, you know, a lot of people who are cops are fucking assholes. And I know this from experience from people trumping up charges on my behalf because I was a cop. Yeah. It happened. Well, can we get him on this charge? Uh, that's gonna be a little tough. But they were still trying to do it because it was on my behalf. Didn't really want them to either. So yeah, they made me a cop. Which, that was the one career field I had specifically told my recruiter that I did not want to be in. And I didn't have any access to the internet thanks to my parents, so I couldn't actually double check anything the motherfucker told me. And no one could tell me that yes, going in open general in the Air Force basically means that you're going to become security forces. A cop. Fuck you, Sergeant Witherspoon. I don't know, maybe he was just ignorant of that fact, though I can't exactly imagine that's the case considering he's a fucking recruiter. But he did his job and he got his extra fucking money that month for getting me in. I'm not bitter, what are you talking about? See, another reason that I didn't enjoy being in was just all of my co-workers. Granted, I was a cop, so there was a specific breed of people I was more likely to run into because to get a career field in any one of the four areas that I mentioned earlier, you have to take the ASVAB test. And I got an average 92 overall. My lowest score in any one of them was an 86%, I think. And my score in general was a 96. You only need a 35 in general in order to be a cop. Yeah. So where did they put me? At a desk where I belong? No! They put me out at the main gate and that's where I stayed for four years. And then they would be pissed off at me because I had no experience with being out on patrol after I'd been in for three years. Fucking morons, these guys I worked with. Either that or it's just their system of training, I don't know. Either way, I just couldn't get along with anybody in the military really because every single one of them was... How to put this nicely? They were NASCAR chasing sports fans. And for those of you who don't know, the only thing sports related that I don't utterly hate is specifically playing volleyball. Watching sports, playing sports related video games, except for Wii Sports, and playing any sports. Hate all of it. Just don't fucking enjoy them. So I didn't have anything to really talk about with any of my coworkers. Because when a common sentence that comes out of my mouth almost daily when I get into serious conversation with people is that the large population of idiots in our country is large due to the internalized oppression based on our corporatists and our fucking government. Or when I would mention that I was in the furry fandom and say that it was basically the same as the anime fandom except that we're talking about people who are fans of anthropomorphic animals. And all I get is that blank fucking stare from people or people just not understanding anything that I'm fucking saying. I was lucky if people could even understand the ideas coming out of my mouth. Yeah, I don't really like sex that much. Whoa. 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 What? I, I don't like sex that much. And it just... They just don't get it. So every single person that I had to work with, save for a few exceptional individuals, were just not my kind of people, I guess. Then there's the small factor of having to sign away your rights, essentially, when you sign your name on that dotted line and raise your hand and whatever bullshit they make you say. I've got a whole video on that one, though, my, uh, my 18th vlog, uh, Military Thanksgiving. It goes into that a lot further than this. Then there's the fact that I was a mild screw-up to the degree that I almost got kicked out about three times. Never officially got close to getting kicked out, but unofficially got close to getting kicked out three times. Because I just fucked up that often. Little tiny things that just constantly built up, especially after my very first day on post, I fell asleep within the very first hour, and then three days later, I fell asleep at post again. So from those three first days at work, I was under the microscope from then forward. It wasn't until later I found out I had a fucking sleeping disorder, but I was already under the microscope, too late. So people ask me, why did I get out? Why the fuck would I want to stay in? Let's see, I could get out and get my education benefits, post 9-11 education benefits, about $1,700 a month just for going to fucking classes. I cannot have to deal with fucking assholes constantly because I have to worry about having a job with them. I don't have to worry about my entire life being fucking ruined just because I fuck up every once and again. I can actually make videos about shit that I want to make videos about. And I don't have to help enforce a whole bunch of laws that I just don't fuck 
fucking agree with. Oh, well, you were getting money, so, you know, it was worth it. Have you met me? Whatever gave you the impression that I gave a single shit about money by comparison to having a decent working environment, working around people that I actually like, doing a job that I actually enjoy, not only that, but having a job that doesn't make me sell out my soul to some fucking corporation. Sorry, I just don't compromise that shit for fucking money. Probably why I'm broke. Aside from the fact that no one's fucking hiring. So yeah, why did I get out of the military? Because I wanted to ever since I went in. See ya!